Today I am going to show you how to create a calendar, a nice calendar, uh, almost like a, uh, a planner, uh, A4, but it'll be a calendar that you can have printed out. Um, some of these places can print the calendar out and then they put a little ring binder up at the top um, of the calendar for 12 months. So this will be a nice little calendar. Now this is made, um, I'm doing this on an on an Apple Mac. I've got a MacBook Pro. So I'm going to show you from start to finish how to actually create this calendar. I've got Affinity Publisher open. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start creating our calendar. So obviously you go to File and then New. You, you select A4. This is the size that I'm going to be using. A4 is our size. We're going with portrait. We don't want facing pages. That's one thing you must remember. You can keep it CMYK for your color. We're going to include a margin, but we're going to make the margin. Uh, let's make them all the same for now. Let's just go with 10, 10 millimeters. But the top margin is going to be slightly more. We're going to make that. 25, 25, 25 millimeters up at the top. So everywhere else it's 10 and the top is 25. All right. We can leave our bleed at 3 millimeters and then we'll just click on create. All right. So there you go. What we're going to do is we will go to our master page and uh, just pull down a, a a line a guideline say about there mine reads 133 millimeters down all right somewhere there that's your first line and just pull down a second one just a little bit below that at about 142 millimeters there you go all right now you'll find it's been assigned to the first page. That's all we need to do there. Now we just go and create 11 more pages for the actual months. So we've got 1, and 1 plus 11 is 12. And they all have the master A applied to them. All right. So there we go. We have 12 pages being created now. There they are. And that's fine. Okay. Go ahead and let's save our project. We'll save it as uh, we're going to find a folder. I've created a folder on the desktop called 2021 Calendar. Now this calendar makes a nice, a nice Christmas present for somebody. You can make a couple of them and you can give them to your friends or family. It's really, really nice. Okay, just call it 2021 Calendar. All right, there you go. 2021 calendar. All right now, minimize this whole screen down to the bottom. There we go. It's minimized. Now, in in my uh, on on my Apple Mac, I've got the calendar app. There it is. I don't know if there's one on on Windows. There must be something. But you click on your calendar app, open it up and uh, enlarge it, maximize it on the screen. There we go. See we're on December 2020. All right, so the way we're going to do the calendar is we, we're we just going to go to File and Print. Now this only, on a, this, this only works on a Mac as far as I know in this way. If you're trying to do one for Windows, you'll need to find out how it's done. There is a way to do it in Google Google calendars. If you go into, if you have a Google account, you can do this with a Google calendars. I'm not too sure exactly how that works, but I've heard somebody told me that you can do it with the Google calendar. But this is for the, through the calendar app on an Apple Mac. All right. So you, you click on print. The dialog that comes up, you notice what it says. It says print. We've got a, a calendar. 
but we're not printing December. So we, we, uh, the view is is month. The paper size is A4, and it starts on January 2021. There you go. You see there, and it ends in December 2021. There you go. Now we don't want any events. We don't want timed events and mini calendar up at the top. Neither do we want the calendar keys. We just want the calendar with the month, with all the months. So we're going to save it out as, as a PDF from January to December 2021. All right. We want our text size to be medium. Let's do that, the text size. Could always make it big, but I prefer just to just do it medium. And uh, let's continue. So, continue. Now, we're going to print it. Ha notice at the bottom here, it says no. Well, first it says no printer selected. That's fine. Don't have to select any printer. You won't only want one copy. You want all the pages printed. It gives you the first one, January. It's showing us there. And it says PDF. Look, look, look down here. It's pages, all of them, from 1 to 12. So there are 12 pages that are going to be printed out each month. Obviously, each month is on a page, and there's 12 of them. It says PDF. Click on this little arrow, and go down to Save as PDF. Click on that. And now a little dialog comes up. You can you can rename your you can rename it to let's say 2021, uh, say Apple calendar. I think it's important to name it Apple Calendar so that we don't get mixed up between the other PDF calendar that's going to be saved out from Affinity Publisher. Now on my desktop I've created a folder and I've called it 2021 calendar. So I double click on that and I'm going to save the 21 the 2021 Apple calendar inside that folder. There we go. It'll save all 12 of those pages. There it is. Now we close our calendar app. We go back down to publisher. There we go. Now we're gonna bring we're gonna bring this in. We're gonna bring it in. So what we do we go to place file place and Let's just make sure this is the right calendar here that I have. 2021 calendar. And we're going to go to 2021 Apple calendar. There it is. And we're going to open it. And now you get this little, your cursor turns into this little, uh, it does this thing. So now at the bottom, you're going to drag your calendar out between these guidelines. There we go. And you let go. Notice up at the top, it says spread page one. Now, before you get all excited, oh, hang on a minute, we should be on page one. All right, we're going to have to just drag it back up. Let's drag it up. Okay, I don't know why it stuck it on page two. Anyway, so we're on page one. Now, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to copy this calendar 11 times. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy, and then we're going to paste. There we go. We paste it on page two. Here's page one, page two. Just trust me, this is how it's done. Paste again. Pasted it. Page three. And do it all the way through on all of the pages. Just this once. Just the first, the, the January calendar. You're probably thinking, gee, you're crazy. But just but just 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 check it out. You'll see what I what what's gonna happen in a moment. Here we go. Paste it. Continue all the way through. Paste all your little calendars in. There we go. I've got a couple more left. There we go. And the last one is there. All right. Okay. 
now January is in place but we're going to go and we're going to click on the second page and it says January but look up here on the left hand side it's it's talking about there it is 2021 Apple calendar linked it says page one now we don't want page one we want page two watch what happens there it becomes February go down to the next one click on that one now we want page three there it is March March appears now we go down to January down on page four we're going to be putting in page four you notice this one will be page five just keep on going all the way through page six is the next one page seven comes after that of course you just select it you go down to page eight there we go that's august page nine is september there we go page 10 will be october of course there we go page 11 will be november 11th month and the last one will be page 12. now i don't know why affinity publisher does it this way i would i would prefer some kind of shortcut to cut through all this nonsense <laughs> anyway now next thing we do we're going to select a picture frame rectangle tool there it is drag out picture frame and place it just above the calendar all right now what you can do you're going to copy that and guess guess what you're going to do you're going to paste it in above again you do the copy and paste thing on each page this is just to just to make your your uh, your life a little bit easier and quicker there we go there we go we paste again This is going to require some some memory on whatever machine you you are using, what whatever computer you are using. You would, I think, you require quite a bit of RAM to do this because it's copying and pasting, and there's a whole bunch of things that are going on. Now I suggest we've we've saved this, but we've got to we've got to save it again. So just go con uh, Command or Control S. To save it again just to save our project see it's it's saved it's all grayed out there all right now we're back at January now we're going to click on now you're probably thinking you could have done this on the master page yes we could have but don't worry let's just um, you, we could have saved more time and created uh, a, a rectangle a rectangular picture frame on the master page yes I know we could have done that and I should have done it but that's fine so let's just let's just do this all right so now we're going to go to our stock images and I'm going to look for on Pixabay I like Pixabay very much I'm a member there as well anyway and I'm going to look for boats you can look for whatever you like just press enter you can look for whatever image or images or what theme you actually like. You can do landscapes, you can do whatever you like and find some appropriate images to go in there. Now this is how we're going to do it. So I'm going to select this one, I'm going to drag it in and let go in January. So this will be our January, our January, little January photograph comes in there. I like it the way it is select the next one for February we're gonna find oh this one is looks nice let's have a look let's drag it in there we go let's have a look and see what that one looks like hmm that's pretty good uh, the next one this will be March find another boat another oh this one looks good let's drag it in let go 
I like the way it places it in that little rectangle, so that'll be okay. There we go, that looks pretty nice. I want a nice sort of a summery one with a little bit of uh, tropical island type of image. Where are we? But anyway, maybe I'll find one a little later on. I like I like this one. Let's let's see what this one looks like in April. That's pretty good. Come on. There we go. That's April. There's there's March. There's April. That that looks quite nice. That's a shipwreck. <laughs> a boat wreck. Anyway, let's go down. Let me have a look here. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's a nice tropical island one that I, I was thinking about. There we go. Drag it in. Let it go. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. That's very good. That's very good. All right. So we've got April. We've got May. We need June. We need June. Let's keep on going down. We need June. We uh, let's have a look here. Oh, this this one looks interesting. Let's have a look and see what that one looks like. You can you can choose whichever whichever set of images. Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice. Whichever set of images suits you. Now remember, this is just for your for your friends and family for Christmas. You know. Uh, let's see. Is uh, oh. Uh, no, I'm not going to get Venice there, I don't think so. Let's try this one. This looks interesting. Let's drop it in there. Another another boat image. Oh, he's on the boat. It's more the guy on the boat. Anyway, that's all right. Let's go to the next one. Scroll down a little more, see if we can find something else. Uh, let me see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see... Uh, oh yes, he has another tropical one. Let's drop it in. Let's see what that one looks like. Let's see what that looks like. We're in August now. Oh yeah, also quite nice. September. September, September, September. This one looks interesting. Let's see what, what that's all about. Drag and drop it in. This is an amazing thing about Affinity Publisher. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Uh, let's go a bit further down. Let's see if there's anything else here that's interesting. Uh, actually, this one looks nice. Come on, let's go down to October. Let's drag one of the speedboats. Let's, that looks interesting. That's interesting. Speedboats. Yeah, okay. That's all right. I might change it later. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see what else there is. Oh, this one looks interesting. Let's drag that one in. That's November. And then after that, we only got one left. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's not too bad. Well, there's a lot of other images, but I'm just I'm just going through this as quickly as I can, just so that I can show you. So I can show. I'm looking for one nice, interesting little image. Just one more. I'm going to end it off with a really, really nice, a nice, interesting. Oh, that looks interesting. Yep. Now this will be for December. Take this one. And we drag and drop it right there. Oh yeah, that really looks nice. All right. So if you scroll through your document, you will notice you have your images above your your uh, your little calendar, and there you go. Alrighty, there it is. That's very interesting. Notice the little space that we have on top of each one is so that when you take it in to be printed, some of these places will place that ring binder in that area 
So that's why we've made a little bit more space. All right then. Okay, there we go. So there's our calendar. So let's save our project. Save. And let's export it as a PDF. Let's export it. Go down to export. PDF. We want a high quality. Uh, I think high quality is good. Yep, we want high quality. We're not going to include the bleed. Some of these places that you know they don't require bleed, so I'm not going to put a bleed in. We want all pages. Let's go and have a look at our 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 little the presets and all that sort of thing. So it's PDF. Uh, 300 dpi that's good jacob pig compression why don't we go down to 90 it'll be okay pdf uh, i'm just going to leave it on 1.7 acrobat 8 color space rgb i could go with cmyk but let's stick with rgb Convert image color spaces, honor spot colors, include hyperlinks. We don't need hyperlinks. Include layers. Yes, we include layers. Embed all fonts. We don't have any fonts. We just got images. And that's it. So we just close that off. We'll say export. You can export it. Go to your desktop, to your 2021 calendar. Uh, you're gonna let's have a look here. What have we named this? The other one was Apple Calendar. Remember 2021 Apple Calendar. We're not going to be using the Apple Calendar, we only use the calendar to bring it into Affinity Publisher. So we're gonna stay with the 2021 calendar PDF. So we could just in, in that folder and we'll say save. Now it'll save it out. It's, it's exporting the calendar out of publisher and we're going to go and have a look at it in Adobe Reader so just waiting to do this export it's quite quite a large it's quite a big um, file to export there's a lot of stuff there yes our it's pretty good it's uh, there we go. We'll just fit it on the page. Here's our calendar. January. February. See? January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. Now remember, September, October, November, December. Remember, this is A4. Each page is A4. So it's quite a nice little size and you can use it as a planner and that sort of thing. All right, there you go. There is your calendar. Now you can take this to any print shop that does printing and hopefully they also do uh, the ring binder thingy. And so uh, that's it. And you can give this as gifts to your friends and family. Okay then, here you go.